So, fortunately, 45 LC coming to you from the range today, we're doing some chronographing of our shotgun slugs. So, here we go. Looks like an average velocity of around 1130 feet per second. Maybe about 1132, somewhere around there. And this is a load of 23 grains of Unique with a Lyman 525 slug and the yellow downrange DRA 12 wad. So now we're doing accuracy testing at 50 yards. Okay, testing the 23 grains of Unique with the downrange XL Blue Wad Lyman 525 slug, 50 yards. So here's the 23 grains of Unique and the downrange A12 watt, which is the yellow one. Also, YouTubers, after finding out what the good load is, and that's the 23 grains with the yellow DRA12 watt and the Lyman 525 slug, shot the rest of my good loads and finished off with 10 rounds at 25 yards offhand and uh, finish with that group so that's not bad after taking all that recoil from about 80 slugs today bye for now well youtubers we're back from the range and we just got done cleaning the Mossberg 500 shotgun with a rifled barrel and the rifled barrel was fouled with 80 rounds of slugs fired today but it cleaned up real well I won't show you the barrel because it just looks great three pulls with a boar snake and it cleaned up real well. Now what I didn't tell you today was that we fired some of these reloads with the active hulls and 40 grains of number five powder and a 7 8 ounce Lee slug and I'm sad to report that these active hulls aren't good because what happened was I got a couple of squib loads well, the danger of a squib load is that you'll get a slug and wad stuck in the barrel and if another round is fired behind it, it'll guarantee to blow the barrel up. So anytime we suspect that there's a, a, a round that didn't go off, we need to check the bore to make sure it's clear. An easy way to do that is to push a rod through and see that it goes all the way through. But another way is to pick up a MT38 case or 9mm case and carefully drop it through the breech and watch it fall out the other end. If you don't see it fall out the other end, there's a slug stuck in there. And that's what happened today. But the wooden dowel pushed it out just fine. We were back in action. Now when a squib load goes off, you'll have all kinds of unburned powder in the action and that had to be cleaned up but the Mossberg 500 cleans up real well. Well, YouTubers, what we discovered today is that we have a new sweet spot load for the 12 gauge slug. Not like the old one that we have, that you know about already. The new sweet spot load is the Remington one piece hull, 
Remington 209 primer, 23 grains of unique powder, and a Lyman 525 slug in a downrange A12 yellow wad. No pedals cut, just use the, the wad, put the slug right inside the wad, load it, and you got a sweet spot load that will shoot into 3 inches offhand at 25 yards. A new sweet spot load. Bye for now.